is a genetic material. Genetic materials are molecules that has the ability to carry information from one generation of an organism to the next. As we know that evolution is possible due to heritable traits and variation, there are four major properties that a genetic material should possess, which are the molecule should be able to replicate itself, the molecule should be able to store information, the molecule should be able to express the stored information, and the molecule should be able to undergo mutation. Apart from the above four main properties, the genetic material should be chemically and structurally stable. In earlier development towards discovery of the genetic material, scientists believe that it could be DNA, RNA, or maybe protein. In the experiments conducted by Mendel with Pisum sativum, he referred to the genetic materials or genes as factors as it was not known till then about the chemical nature of the factor that is responsible for transmitting characters from one generation to the next. We will be discussing few of the experiments that were conducted towards finding out the chemical nature of the genetic material. Discovery of Transformation One of the most important and pioneering work was conducted by Griffith on the bacterium Streptococcus pneumoniae in 1928. This bacterium, which causes pneumonia in humans, is normally lethal in mice. However, different strains of this bacterial species have evolved that differ in virulence, that is, in the ability to cause disease or death. This same basic technique was then used to determine the nature of the transforming principle, the agent in the cell debris that is specifically responsible for transformation. In another experiment in 1944, Oswald Avery, MacLeod, and McCarthy separated the classes of molecules found in the debris of the dead as cells and tested them for transforming ability one at a time. This test showed that polysaccharides themselves do not transform the rough cells. Therefore, the polysaccharide code, although undoubtedly concerned with the pathogenic reaction, is only the phenotypic expression of virulence. In screening the different groups, Avery and Kalik found that only one class of molecule, that is the DNA, could induce transformation of R cells. They deduced that DNA is the agent that determines the polysaccharide character and hence the pathogenic character. Furthermore, 
It seemed that providing our cells with sDNA was equivalent to providing these cells with s. genetic material. Finally, after treatment of the lysate with DNAs, the lysate lost its ability to transform, which indicates that DNA is the transforming principle that Griffith coined. The Hershey and Chess Experiment The experiments conducted by Avery and his colleague were definitive, but many scientists were very reluctant to accept DNA rather than protein as the genetic is incorporated the radioisotopes of phosphorus into phase DNA and that of sulfur into the proteins of a separate phage culture. They then used each phage culture independently to infect E. coli with many virus particles per cell. After sufficient time for injection to take place, they shared the empty phage carcasses called the coast of the bacterial cells by agitating in a blender. They used centrifugation to separate the bacterial cells from the phase ghost and then measured the radioactivity in the two fractions. When the radioactive phosphorus labeled phase were used, most of the radioactivity ended up inside the bacterial cell, indicating that the phage DNA entered the cells. Radioactive phosphorus can also be recovered from phage progeny. When the label sulfur phage were used, most of the radioactive materials ended up in the phage ghost in the supernatant, indicating that the phage protein never entered the bacterial cell. The conclusion is inescapable. DNA is the hereditary material 
The phase proteins are mere structural packaging that is discarded after delivering the viral DNA to the bacterial cell. RNA is genetic material. With the help of transformation experiments and bacteriophage infection discussed earlier, it was shown that DNA is the genetic material. However, some viruses do not have DNA as the genetic material but uses RNA as their information carrier. RNA is a nucleic acid that is single-stranded and less stable than the DNA. The first evidence that RNA also has the capacity to carry genetic information came from experiments conducted with tobacco mosaic virus. This virus does not contain any DNA and is composed of RNA surrounded by a hollow cylinder of protein subunits. The experiments conducted by Frankel Conrad in California showing that RNA is the genetic material in this virus will be briefly discussed in this section. In the experiment, tobacco mosaic virus particles were fractionated into RNA and proteins. Later, by using RNA and protein separately in tests for infectivity, it could be shown that RNA alone was able to cause infection. Such a property was not found in protein fraction. This proves that RNA is the genetic material in tobacco mosaic virus. It has been postulated that RNA was the first genetic material formed during the evolution of living organisms. There are certain differences between DNA and RNA that makes DNA a more widely prevalent genetic material as compared to RNA. In conclusion, DNA, RNA, and proteins are three main components that play an important role in living organisms. DNA has been a widely known concept about how it stores our genetic data. However, 
DNA is not the only component responsible for it. RNA and proteins also play an important role determining the function of a cell. Both DNA and RNA, which are collectively known as nucleic acids, with almost similar chemical constituents are responsible for carrying genetic information.